Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. I had to come make a video really quick. I figured something out that uh, is gonna really like change up my day-to-day -day makeup game. I've been trying to figure out ways to like shorten how long it takes me to do my makeup because it takes me way too long. And everybody that I follow on YouTube talks about like, I do all of these steps when I'm on camera and when I'm filming and when I'm really like doing a glam look. But for day to day, I just do like concealer and mascara and a lip and I go. And I'm like, how do you do that? Like I've never been able to just do that. That is until yesterday. <laughs> I figured out that it just has to do with the type of concealer you have. So let me pull out what is going to be my new minimized day-to-day -day quick makeup routine and the concealer that made a difference for that. When I'm in a rush, when I don't have much time, like a 10 minute face basically, um, I'm going to still use this, my Smashbox Oil and Shine Control because I do still have my oily skin, you know, combination T-zone, can't deny it. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror next to the camera. Also, my face is washed and moisturized before I'm doing this. So before I found the right concealer, here's what I would have done. After my primer, I would have taken this color corrector to go in my kind of dark circles under my eye. And I have this purple vein, blend that out, pat that out, and then use this cover girl, undercover, true blend, whatever concealer over that, blend it all together into one color. And that would be the base upon which I would apply whatever eyeshadow look I was doing. Then I would use, it could be any foundation, just right now this is the most recent like good color match one that I've been using, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Dewy. I use Soft Ivory. So I would put this all over my face, set it all with this powder, translucent Ma master fix Maybelline, whatever, and then blush, contour, eyebrows, lip, except that I'm wearing a mask, so I don't really do lips other than just like some lip balm and then be on my way. So as you can guess, <laughs> every morning that took a ton of time. So what I'm doing now instead, basically this concealer is all I need for like my whole freaking face. And I think it has to do with not just the color match, but also the formula being right for me, for my skin. I don't know why. I'm just happy that I found it. So I just want to share it in case you have similar problems, which is combination skin and redness to cover up, which that's really my big thing is that I have redness and little dark circles under the eyes. So it's this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. And honestly, it's very like lightweight. Now mind you, the coverage of this is definitely going to look different than if I had done all of those steps. But since I'm wearing a mask to work every day, I do not need a full like glam coverage. I really just need my redness to be covered. I think this is all ready. <laughs> The thing is, this tube is really small. I wish it came in a bigger tube because I'm already almost done using this and I've had it for like a week. Okay, so my concealer is on all of my places that need concealing. I have my damp sponge, blend it out. Already, like such a reduction in the redness. I'm going to go back for a second coat because I just, I've used up so much of this already that I just don't have as much to put on as I wish I did. And I'll put this in my most like discolored areas of my skin. Also, um, that first application that I just did, it had a little while to dry down because of some stuff that I edited out. That's why I'm doing this whole second layer. But if you start to blend it out right away, then you're not gonna need an entire second layer and you're not gonna go through this little bottle as quickly as I am. I have a little bit of acne up here and I'm a perfectionist, so I'm just gonna one more time. Okay, guys, <laughs> when I tell you I have never had a foundation, a concealer, a anything that is such a good 
seamless blend color match into my skin the way that this is. Look, like I barely, do I even need to blend it down onto my neck? Like it doesn't, it looks like the same. And again, I put two layers of this on because when I did the first layer, I got distracted with some stuff that I edited out and it dried down a tiny bit. So when I blended it out, didn't blend all the way, I had to do the second layer. But usually it's one layer for most of the face and then a second layer just for like those little spot treatments like I just did. But like, look at, it covered my purple areas, it covered my red areas, it covered my green areas pretty much, or at least enough for me on a quick, natural, no makeup makeup look type of day to go to work and feel comfortable. And the finish of this, I don't need to set it with powder. I don't know why, I don't know what's different about this, but when I wore it for a full day recently, there was no need for me to set it with powder. It was staying put and doing what it needed to do. Like it makes me very interested to look for other items in the Maybelline product line that are like this color, this formula. So from here, today for example, I'm wearing a purple sweater. I'm not going to work today, it's my day off. But if I was basing my day-to-day -day quick makeup look off of like this sweater. I have this purple liquid eyeliner that I got from Hard Candy, the same as the green one that I used in my Shrek Halloween look. So I can just do a little quick wing with this for a little pop, a little something. There, simple, you know, makes it more of a look, but it's quick, pretty easy, and I can get on my way. Other side. Here, I'll even it out for the perfectionist in me and in whoever is watching that's a perfectionist as well. There. So that's done. That's my whole eye look finished, except, sorry, little mascara. Next, I'm not even gonna worry about powder because this sets pretty well. I don't really need powder. The only thing that's really remaining, I'm just going to like fill in my brows because I know that this is <laughs> all kinds of disorganized up here. I'm still trying to figure out a brow solution that is as easy as this. Oh my god. Okay, pretend that this isn't awful, okay? Just do me a favor because this is really just about the concealer making my life easier. Uh, the brows so far are not helping my life. Okay, let us pretend this isn't awful. And by the way, just saying, as I was standing there messing up my brows, uh, I was able to wipe off the brow gel really easily off of this concealer here. So that means it's dried down nice enough that it basically is just acting like skin now. It's not like blending into the brow product. It's making the brow product come off and lift up, which is awesome. I don't know what is different about this concealer, but I am all about it. Second brow, yeah, yeah. And there you go. Literally, this can be my completed look to wear to work. You know how long it usually takes me to do my makeup? Like 45 minutes to an hour, okay? <laughs> Part of that is because of me doing a lot of eye makeup and being a perfectionist about that. But the thing is, I do a lot of eye makeup because I don't feel comfortable with the base underneath just being there. But this, with this concealer being the base, I feel comfortable showing this and having just like eyeliner on and the base looks okay. It doesn't have to be this like mix of this and this to make some color correction business and then I have to do a lot of eye makeup to cover up that like paste. I feel good enough and natural enough with this concealer that it pretty much just looks like clean, even skin so I can let it show and do less, do less makeup and look a little bit more relaxed. The only thing I might change when it's no longer mask time in the world, I have my Maybelline Fit Me blush. It's this light little pink color, coral. It's a very like light kind of natural blush on me. So I'll take this. There you go. 
Easy. When we're no longer in mask world, we'll wear lipsticks again. I might do this bite lipstick that I have. A mousse bouche liquefied lip dummy gloss. Whatever. You can add this if you want, but you know, it's even, it's an extra step. You don't even necessarily need, you know? And there, this is a easy liquid lip for me. It's like a nice kind of neutral color for me for my skin. And there you go. Easy. Like 15 to 20 minutes makeup look if I'm going slow and if I'm messing up like I was messing up along the way. <laughs> but if I get it down to a little bit more of a science, you know, take me 10, 15 minutes to do this compared to 45 to an hour. <laughs> Makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> Moral of the story is if you find the right concealer and you know, God is good, I am blessed. This is not only good in terms of the color, it's good in terms of the formula with my combination skin. If you find the right concealer, or it could be a foundation slash concealer or a foundation, whatever, that works as an all over face base for you. Everything else about your look can simplify when you're not using color correctors. You don't have to do a layer of powder. You don't have to do all this other stuff. And by the way, whenever I do powder, even foundation, honestly, I get it all up in my hairline. But with this concealer, I don't because I don't have to go as far over because that's not where my redness is and where the things I'm trying to conceal are. Here, looking at my face right now, I'll add a little more just because I like it. This time I will use my finger and it'll brighten under there as well. There we go. So yeah, I'm just at a place in my life where I'm really looking for efficiency and making sure that I'm spending the time that I have on the right things. And one place I don't need to spend more time is on my makeup for work, which I'm not showing on camera, and where I just need to look good, look presentable, but not necessarily look like a beauty guru on YouTube, you know? Not that I am anyway. So I was just excited because finding the right product is going to make a huge difference for me moving forward. And I'm going to buy like 10 of these because I'm going to run out. I'm still working on finding the perfect product for my brow, but I have this. I have a lip that I love. I have a blush that I love. I have some eyeliners that I love. And that is just about enough for me. <laughs> I've been wanting to try to figure out how to do like a no makeup makeup look and I feel like I can do that with this and I'm excited about that too. Again, this is the Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. I'm using Fair 10. Let me know what your like miracle products are <laughs> in the comments below. Let me know what are the things that you do to make your makeup fast and efficient, the products that changed your makeup game in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. While you're down there commenting, I hope that you also like this video, subscribe to my channel, and set your notifications to all, especially if you would like to win my giveaway. When I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away 100 American dollars to one of my subscribers. So if you want to be considered for that, just subscribe to my channel, leave your Instagram in a comment below, then go follow me on Instagram at prettyhippieme and you could win a hundred dollars, you know? I'm happy to give that to you guys. I'm really grateful to you all for being here and I can't wait to give somebody a little gift. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you are spending your time here with me. So much love, bye. Hi. They called the race. Oh, okay. Spider. Sweet. <laughs>